Hello and welcome to Edison TV. Today I'm joined by Christine Marks, a VP of Marketing and Commercialization at Spectral MD. Spectral MD are a healthcare technology business specializing in predictive analytics um, with a platform that uses proprietary AI to predict how a wound will heal. The company is listed on London's AIM market and is capitalized at around £44 million. Christine, many thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Dan, for having me. I appreciate it. And can you start with an introduction to the business and particularly uh, if you could discuss how deep, the deep view technology or platform supports the healing process for birth, burn wounds? That would be great. Sure. Uh, Spectral MD is a wound imaging AI company. We provide a prediction on day one of whether a wound will heal or not heal. We'll go to market first in diabetic foot ulcers, followed by our burn application. And where the technology most impacts uh, burn wounds is that when the patient's presented primarily in A&E or ED department, it will quickly and accurately diagnose where are the healing and non-healing areas of that, that wound. And where that's important is it'll impact clinical workflow for what the healthcare provider recommends next in that decision. So the patient will either be treated in the local wound care com community or they'll be transferred to a specialized burns uh, center for surgery. So it really does impact very fast and accurate decisions of where that patient goes next. Thank you. And, and it looks as if you're currently involved in some very interesting um, studies. Uh, could you provide some detail on the importance of those studies and also the, the value that they bring to your business? Absolutely. So um, we are involved in over 10 studies for burn and over five for diabetic foot ulcers. These studies right now are critical for uh, training our database. So it's really our crown jewel of how we can make these predictions is having these uh, clinical data supported by the imagery and having the diversity of various locations, ethnicities, different countries involved in these clinical studies makes our AI more robust and accurate. Thanks. And maybe stepping back a little, can you, can you give an overview of the current market dynamics and also the opportunities for your technology within burn wounds and diabetic foot ulcers? Yeah, you know, Dan, candidly, there's no uh, existing diagnostic tool other than our two given human eyes to make a prediction of how a wound's going to heal or provide a correct treatment protocol for these patients. And so the market dynamic is it would really displace a lot of what we're doing uh, in a very manual resource way, especially in burns. So um, in the U.S., there's over 500,000 U.S. burns a year that are in hospitals with an average of eight days at length. Um, it's very expensive and it takes a lot of resources to care for these patients. In diabetic foot ulcers, um, as you know, diabetes continues to grow in every country. And during the lifetime of a diabetic, there's a 25% chance of uh, having a diabetic foot ulcer. And so the market potential for these is really huge. And we hope that we really transform the way these disease states are triaged, treated, and hopefully impact the total uh, reduction of that patient journey to healing. Thanks. And um, you've recently celebrated your first anniversary on AIM. It's been quite a year. Um, yes. Can you discuss uh, your motivations for listing over here on AIM and also the progress you've made, I guess, commercially in European markets? Yeah, absolutely. So we are excited to cross that one year milestone on AIM. It was originally done to raise uh, 16 million of funding to support the development of our diabetic foot ulcer application. We're very fortunate to have a strong government partner in the US called BARDA that supports the financial development of our burn application. But we were really proud to be on AIM and we're, we're excited that we crossed that one year milestone with diabetic foot ulcer. 
what we're doing with this uh, resources and allocation of money is continuing um, our clinical studies to have evidence to show the impact of time and how that um, saves money in the healthcare system, both from the area of the healthcare facility and also to reduce the pain and suffering of the, of the patient and shortening their journey. So most of the funding is going to support that clinical evidence. Great, thanks. And then moving on to financials, um, you've just recently finished the first half of the year. You've generated high double-digit revenue growth uh, and a move of to move to EBITDA profitability. Um, can you discuss the, the, the specific growth growth drivers of the business a bit more? Yeah, sure. The the real growth driver right now is on the U.S. side for our burn application. We are really wrapping up our training study with our. Uh, burn AI, finishing up with adults and the pediatric population will follow for that. We're also allocating more resources to get ready to become commercial, including investing not only in talent, but to also increase our production and manufacturing capabilities. Understood, understood. And finally, it looks as if you're in a strong cash position. Can you discuss your, your investment plans for the business for the next two, three years? Yeah, we're going to increase an investment in our clinical database of images for other applications of where the product can go. Um, we will go ahead and also increase uh, resources, both domestically and internationally, more clinical studies that we will need to do, and just having the headcount to support the growth of the business. Fascinating stuff. Christine, many thanks for your time today. Thank you, Dan. Enjoyed it.